10 trillion dollars. That's the revenue figure that Elon Musk has just attached to Tesla's Optimus robot. It's a number so large it seems plucked from a fantasy novel, not a corporate earnings call. Yet Elon Musk's track record of defying expectations is undeniable, and when he sees a path to a specific price target, as he's predicted them multiple times in the past, Tesla has indeed gotten there. But even with his history of innovation, this astronomical $10 trillion figure raises some questions, because the math doesn't really add up based on the number of Tesla robots that would need to be sold in order to achieve this. So what's the missing piece of the puzzle? And what secret strategy is Elon Musk concealing that could unlock this unprecedented level of value? Let's dive into the numbers, the projections, and the potential game changers that could make this audacious dream a reality. Tesla has revealed its roadmap for the Optimus humanoid robot which appears to be in the early phases of starting mass production now. Elon Musk originally forecasted limited volume of a thousand robots this year in 2025 that would be deployed to work within Tesla's own factories. However, based on the most recent investor call, the internal target is actually 10,000 Optimus units by the end of this year. Going forward, Tesla intends to boost production by an order of magnitude each year, therefore manufacturing 100,000 robots by 2026, a million in 2027, and so forth. Next year, 2026, would be a monumental event for Optimus, where Tesla expects first customer deliveries to begin, and Elon Musk hints that the robot will be going to companies first, which would be in line with Optimus being trained within Tesla's own factories. This could be the start of the insane $10 trillion in revenue business that Elon Musk is speaking of. He even subtly pokes fun at AI competitor OpenAI on Tesla's most recent conference call, where Elon Musk says that with $10 trillion in revenue, even investing $500 billion into AI would be a good deal. This alludes to OpenAI's intention to build out $500 billion of AI infrastructure within the next few years, although Elon Musk has called out the company for not actually having the money at present time to do this. If Tesla indeed reached $10 trillion in revenue, $500 billion ends up being a drop in the bucket. However, something still doesn't add up. Let's estimate that at massive large-scale volume, an Optimus robot would cost $20,000. This seems reasonable as there are Teslas selling at near $30,000 which have much larger 50 kilowatt hour battery packs, the most expensive component in the vehicle, while Optimus would contain 10 times fewer battery cells, say just 3 kilowatt hours, in addition to humanoids simply using far less material than a car, while still possessing roughly the same components like motors, batteries, an inference chip, etc not some crazy new material that Tesla would need to source. $20,000 might even be on the high side given extremely large scale production, but let's hold this assumption for now. If we divide $10 trillion, which is the yearly revenue number, by $20,000, we get $500 million, meaning that to hit Elon Musk's goal, Tesla would need to be making 500 million robots per year. If we follow Tesla's own trajectory of 10,000 robots this year, 100,000 in 2026, a million in 2027, etc., Tesla would achieve the 500 million units per year mark in 2030. While this might be possible with some insane work, it's a little bit ridiculous in some sense. This is already an extremely aggressive timeline. Elon Musk isn't even certain that 10,000 units will be achieved this year, and multiplying by 10x every year is a crazy goal. Tesla has grown vehicles extremely quickly, but nowhere near 10x per year, maybe 10x in 10 years. Even though, as mentioned, Optimus is smaller, we can also look at the iPhone, which is far smaller than Optimus, should technically be easier to produce, is far cheaper, and even it has hit a peak of roughly 230 million units per year. That also begs the question, would there even be demand for 500 million Optimus robots per year, especially at $20,000? If the price of Optimus comes down, then even more volume is needed to reach this $10 trillion target. This would be an absolute stretch for Tesla, 
and so this doesn't seem likely even by 2030. It's strange that Elon Musk would mention it now, and so there's no way that they're actually planning to do this to increase revenue in this way. Instead, it's much more likely and much more profitable to rent Optimus out. The robot is designed to be able to complete mundane tasks that humans don't want to do or are dangerous for humans to do. Ultimately, Optimus will be able to do anything that a human can, but by the same token, could help humans be significantly more productive by having a team of workers available on demand. In terms of revenue, instead of looking at Optimus as a one-time sale of a hardware product, it's better seen as a recurring software subscription. If Optimus can complete tasks within the next few years that indeed match that of a human's capabilities, it could be far more valuable, especially for a robot that doesn't require breaks, doesn't lose focus, doesn't need healthcare benefits, just some regular maintenance, doesn't need retirement savings matching, and so forth, saving companies tons of money. Imagine a highly skilled robot that could do human-level work worth $50 an hour with no additional expenses that companies would typically have to pay. The reason why Elon Musk highlighted that Optimus would be going out to companies first is that they could not only afford this, but it would easily make them more productive and efficient and even save them money. If an Optimus robot worked 20 hours per day and has uptime of 350 days per year, that would generate $350,000 in revenue for Tesla. We can assume that Tesla pays for the cost of the hardware and includes maintenance. These would both be small compared to the revenue generated, but again, we're only talking about revenue anyways. At $350,000 per year per robot, Tesla would need to sell about 29 million robots. That's no longer 500 million robots per year. That's 29 million robots as a one-time cumulative total, as now the software rental aspect takes care of turning it into yearly revenue. Based on their expected trajectory, they could achieve this in early 2029, with far fewer robots required. They would need to build 17.4 million robots in 2029 in order to get there, as opposed to the 100 million needed and then 500 million the year after. Tesla could achieve 10 trillion in revenue over a year earlier with far fewer robots. And just as an aside, at 10 trillion in revenue just for Optimus, let's assume 80% software-like margins is $8 trillion in profit with a 20 times PE ratio is a $160 trillion market cap, which is completely insane. Of course, there's many variables. Tesla may not achieve that level of production. The prices come down as humanoids become more ubiquitous and commoditized. But also on the flip side, in 2030, if Tesla adds another 29 million units, it doubles this incremental revenue for the company. Any way you look at it, the numbers are still huge, compared to the market caps and sizes of companies we have today, and the projections are only 5 years out into the future. 29 million robots is also not too crazy of a number. If you look at Amazon alone, that's one company, they have 1.5 million workers, but interestingly, they also already employ 750,000 robots. These robots may be due for an upgrade. One very interesting thing mentioned on the conference call is this. Uh, because we were obviously trained Optimus to, to do enough tasks to match the output of Optimus robots. Listen to this again. Elon Musk seems to say that he wants to train Optimus to do enough tasks to match the output of Optimus robots. This seems like a strange thing to say, almost as if Elon Musk misspoke. But we do know, as per Tesla's previous events, that Optimus is being trained on building Optimus robots. So it's possible that Tesla has set up a traditional production line of Optimus robots alongside a production line of Optimus robots building Optimus robots. And the goal is to have the robots compete in order to build robots faster than a traditional production line. This would be extremely interesting. For one thing, if Optimus becomes an expert at building Optimus robots, then it would mean that Optimus could also be an expert at repairing robots. If a robot breaks down at one of the companies that Tesla is leasing to, perhaps it can repair itself if it's somewhat functioning, maybe it can diagnose itself, 
or Tesla can dispatch another Optimus robot to help repair it. Again, this would be ridiculously valuable as a self-sustaining, self-operating business for Tesla with very little cost. At the same time, it's worth noting that having Optimus manually build other robots is just as inefficient as having humans manually try to mass produce something. Elon Musk has always indicated that the factory is the product. Therefore, Optimus would also need to specialize in building the factory lines for Optimus. That's what would help Tesla truly scale. It's almost like an ASIC versus a generalized system, where an ASIC is a custom chip made to do one specialized task very quickly and efficiently. Optimus is a generalized robot, like a Swiss army knife. But if the goal is mass production, then building dedicated production lines for the sole purpose of mass producing robot parts is much more optimal and effective. And so ideally, Tesla would want Optimus to specialize at both things. With a limited production ramp, Optimus will become an expert at manually building, testing, diagnosing, and troubleshooting individual Optimus robots, which will come in very useful for repairs and maintenance and managing a massive fleet in the future. But in order to scale itself, Optimus will learn to build out efficient Optimus factories, as the factory is the product, as Elon Musk says, and they're already working on factory lines today. The key is that this could have a compounding effect, where a thousand Optimus robots can build a factory that produces, say, 10,000 robots. But now those 10,000 robots can build 10 factories that each make 10,000 robots. And then you have 100,000 robots who know how to build factories. This is more like cell replication applied to manufacturing, which could help Tesla scale to millions of units more rapidly than anticipated in order to achieve this moonshot $10 trillion in yearly revenue and beyond. So do you think Optimus will become capable of building other Optimus robots? And in what year could Tesla hit Elon Musk's milestone of $10 trillion in Optimus revenue? Don't forget to watch my last video on Tesla beginning CyberCap production. Be sure to follow me on X at TMIO Tesla. Please hit the like button and subscribe, we would really appreciate that. And a huge shout out to all of our patrons that help to support our channel. Your support helps us to continue to make great content. Thank you guys so much for watching.